Well, he throws a lot of strikes, for one thing, you know, and as of late, you know, he's been missing a lot of spots. That's what I see. You know, everybody says, what's wrong with Dylan? And, you know, I wasn't here early in the year when he was going really good, but the few games I have seen when he's thrown the ball well, it's been all about fastball command. I mean, you take Cashner's the same way, Cops, pretty much any pitcher's the same. When they're really using the fastball and staying out of the middle of the plate, good things normally happen. Bundy, if you'll go back and look, you know, these there's a little bit of a struggles as of late, those fastballs are missing right out over the plate, and guys just aren't missing them right now, you know. So he's not getting his head, head in the count as much as he was. The fastball is out over the plate as opposed to being on the outer and inner thirds of the plate. And everybody says, well, the velocity's down. And, and it is a little bit for him. And I don't know if that's out of design, you know, because I know when I first came up, I thought I had to miss every bat. Then I figured out it was okay to throw seven pitches and get out of an inning with, with two pop-ups on a ground ball. That's okay to do, too. And so, you know, what we forget about Dylan a lot of times is he's only got 62 big league starts. He's only got 400 innings in the big leagues. He's still learning every time he steps out there to pitch. Now, we all want it to happen fast, you know, but the truth of matters it takes some time you know and uh, I think it's a learning process for him I think it's mechanical more than it is anything and when the mechanics sync up for him he's really good but he's like every other pitcher when the mechanics aren't syncing up and you're missing out over the plate at this level you, your neck gets sore sometimes from looking over your shoulder but that's something he has to get better at is not giving up so many home runs and then finding out a way to minimize damage it's okay to give up a run or two every now and then but you got to stay away from those three inning you know three runs in the inning four runs those are the ones that just take you totally out of a ball game You've got some impressive statistics here on Bundy so far. I mean, can you remember some of them off the top of your head? Or obviously, yeah. you can look at them. Well, I mean, you know, I was looking at his numbers. If you take out the Red Sox and the Yankees, he's really good. So, you know, against the Red Sox and the Yankees, he's 5-10 and 10 with an ERA well above 5.5. But against the rest of the league, you know, he's he's 25-15 and 15 with an ERA below 4. So it's really been the Yankees and the Red Sox that's done the most damage to Bundy. Interleague play has been outstanding. I mean, he's 6-2 and two with a 2-8 ERA against interleague play. So... You know, unfortunately, the Yankees and the Red Sox are your two main competition, but those are two really good teams, and they've beat up on him in his career. But everybody else, he's had a lot of success against. How about the day games versus the night games? He's got some impressive numbers in day games now. Yeah, I can't put a finger on that unless he grew up in high school, you know, pitching all day games. He's comfortable in day games. I don't know, you know, but I know there's a lot of pressure for Dylan, too, because if you go back and I did some research on him, I mean, He's arguably the best high school pitcher there ever was coming out of high school. The numbers he put up, and you guys know this because you've been around so long, but, I mean, he was the Gatorade Player of the Year, every National Player of the Year award you could win. He won coming out of high school. And so been a lot of pressure for him. The maturing process, you know, because of the injuries, is not going as quickly as everybody wanted him to. And, and I just go back and I, and I think about my career. And when I got here, of course, I took a college route. He came straight from high school. But I didn't know what I was doing when I got here. And it took some time to figure things out. And I think Dylan is still learning a lot of it just only seems like he's been here 10 years he really hasn't you know 62 starts at the big league level is not a lot by any stretch so i think he's learning and he's learning every time he goes out